Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. Now, on this week's video, I've got... I know that's right. I've got... You know the vibes. I know that's right. You know the vibes. Hey, Annie. Hi, I'm Tassie. Clink, how are you? for my clink, return. Clink, I'm good, how are you? For the return. Hey, I'm good. Guys. Mm. Oh. So she's back today. We are sugar cool ring. We have two episodes that we need to discuss and we do not want to waste any time. We're gonna get straight into it, honey. Jumping straight. Yo. 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 Get straight to the point, honey. Okay, so scene one we have Mabusi and La Congo. La Congo is at the waterfront or the beachfront. Um promenade, whatever you call that thing. And she's waiting for Umge Umabusi. And they're gonna go for a quick run around the promenade. Um Mabusi is coming through and she has an entire handbag, child. More than anything, she has an entire full face of makeup. Like with a laid, laid wig. Glam and everything. I said, this is not practical. How are you Lord gonna do this? Lord, Lord, <laughs> Lord <laughs> It was a fight. It was not practical Aibo. at all. And obviously, Uma boob. Ula Congo um, points it out my girl. How you go? How you gonna jog? How you gonna jog in, in full design, makeup? <laughs> and it's like I said when she was jogging, my baby big. <laughs> <laughs> she did all of two. She did all of two jogs, and she was like, I want to what? Nah. I'm tired. So I'm not doing those. I, I'm tired. The the point of that meetup was them just um, regrouping about what happened um, with the ladies and stuff. At um, Jojo's house yeah. when that whole no Drama good thing happened, happened. Um, and if Blondie owes Unoku an apology and all that type of stuff, there wasn't really that much going on in the scene. Yeah, they didn't um, get into too much detail. Too much detail, yeah. But then we're gonna see as it unfolds throughout the episode what people actually think about this whole thing. Umabo, she talks about the meeting that she had with Jojo. Jojo, yeah. And this is when Jojo was confronting Umabusi in the previous episode about yeah. the question she asked. Yeah. And then Jojo also brought to light that she was the one who was questioning the validity of, of, her, bags. of her bags and her designer items because yeah. she doesn't know her. So Umabusi was very offended still. Mm. Say, I'm very offended that she thinks I buy fake stuff or I can't afford yeah. a lifestyle. Yeah, I'm basically, I come from humble beginnings and yeah. I've worked for my money and I've worked for the things that I have and I did not appreciate that question. Yeah, which, oh, is, which valid. is valid. Mm -hmm. Very valid. I'm so being, okay. okay, so we move on to scene two where Sarisha goes to Annie's house and um, they're basically talking about Nungu and how, oh, excuse me, and how Sarisha has this attachment to Nungu mm. and she's trying to assist or help with this whole debacle but she doesn't know where to draw the line and she feels like nonko is not hearing her out she's being defensive and oh and is basically saying Mana, i told you, you to stab it and i told you yeah and you can't tell a grown woman how to like do things if she wants to drink she's gonna drink which for me is very confusing because the whole reason why also risha even went to unongo was because the ladies were pushing sorisha yeah to have that conversation yeah. with unongo because sorisha was like it's not i mean yeah we are concerned but i don't think it's something that we should be talking to her about yeah but oh annie and oh Lord, no, i don't Jane, think annie was part of that i don't I don't think any was okay with that but the general consensus of the yeah. group was you go talk to talk her talk to her but now annie's saying me again just leave her leave her she's a grown woman but because yeah. there's tension between uno and no annie yeah i would expect that response from her exactly exactly but get yeah we move on i feel like listen being a call that hectic and then like calls her to Teach her how to make them combo. Yeah, now, now, this is, now this is the scene that had us confused because we, we, we I was said, so confused. Okay, the first time when she did this, this is when she introduced the Zulu lessons or she introduced the idea that the ladies should have Zulu lessons. Mm -hmm. But she wasn't the one facilitating those lessons. Yeah. So now when she's taking it up a notch and saying, okay, teaching I'll teach her how to combo. It I came out of nowhere. nowhere. I would understand if Mklambi Ueni, no, not a guru, we're going to throw a function or a traditional yeah. ceremony. And Ueni had brought it up. It, but I need to learn how to make him combo. Yes. Like, and then of course, I will teach you because, I mean, she's no. that girl. But it just came out of nowhere. No, no Annie was just a bit confused. But like, oh, oh okay. Oh, I mean, I guess. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if you really insist, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we move on to scene three, and we have Uma Sorry Sorry and Jojo. Oh, pain <laughs> of my existence. Boring. And tomato, tomato, tomato. Yeah. Mm. So this was. Oh, sorry, this was at Sorisha's house. MSA briefed about the beef that happened. 
prior. And Little Jojo is coming to now tell her her side what, of what no, happened. And it is Sarisha and Annie left early at okay. Jojo's event at Dochella. So now Ooh, Jojo is coming to Sarisha's house to come and tell her what happened, the whole thing. Uh, and then they eventually talk about the whole Nongku thing, about the fact that she's not an she's not the alcoholic they made her out to be. She is actually she and they feels, need to apologize. Uh, they spoke to harshly against yeah. Unongu when yeah. she doesn't feel like she doesn't share those sentiments anymore. Yeah. So Just, basically what what U, U Jojo is communicating here is that Unongu and we shouldn't have done what we did. Nongu is she does not have a drinking problem and we shouldn't have addressed it that way and we need to apologize for accusing her of being an alcoholic basically. I got a problem when you want to drag all of us exactly. to apologize. If you want to apologize, why don't you apologize on your for your own for part. your own part that you played? And I feel like now, ooh, 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 Jojo, this whole thing started when she fought with Londi, and then and now she she's trying to double down so that it doesn't seem like she's siding with Ulo. Ulondi, exactly. Now she's beefing with the person that she was siding with exactly. when they initially decided, decided. that they were going to confront Unongu about her drinking. And I feel like this doesn't make sense to me. Does Nongu have a drinking problem or not? Because you guys are saying you want to apologize because she doesn't have a drinking problem. But oh, why did okay. you guys even say in the beginning she has a drinking problem? Exactly. So let's just start there. And also another thing, I feel like there's a scene that's missing or like something that they didn't show on camera. When Sirisha said, when she was confronting Nongu in the previous episode, yeah. well, or talking to her, um, not necessarily confronting, she was saying that Nongu had promised her or had said that she was going to stop um, drinking. But we never saw that playing out. So now when they're making reference to things that were not shown, yeah. it's, it's kind of hard to piece the two together. Which also makes sense why the ladies were pushing this agenda so much that Nongu has a drinking problem. We, we have gathered that there have been conversations yeah. or certain events that have happened yeah. off camera or they haven't included them in, yeah. the, in the scenes that we have seen on the show where this is actually a conversation that needed to be done yeah. because we, they wouldn't push something this much if it wasn't an actual problem yeah me hanging out with uzuzi and seeing her tipsy once or twice or three wouldn't times worry me wouldn't worry me out. and yeah i wouldn't call you out and say oh you're, you're always alcoholic. drunk we've, yeah. we've only but been around each other three times and we've been drinking yeah so how bad must it be for me to be called about i won't just say no it, it's too much like. so i definitely feel like there's yeah. some there are conversations that i had like behind, behind. closed doors yeah. so we move on to scene three i mean four and we have um la si la conto non cañizo <laughs> Such a random hand, this one. Coming to Annie's house to teach her how to make umkumboti. Yeah. Coming to Annie's house to teach her how to make umkumboti. And she's basically coming through in this black car. A um, new way. Black car. I, I think it's an IX, BMW IX. Or I don't know what it's called, but something like that. And uh, Annie's like, oh, oh. Okay, girl, you have a fleet of BMWs because mm. she has another BMW. And Ula Kunga goes on to say, No, this is Petal's car. I'm just taking it for a drive, honey. solidified to get your relationship. Oh, yeah. I'm in. I'm in. Yes. Dim or 560. So that's basically what Ula Kunga was saying. Yeah. Not, not too many words, but okay, guys. It's a thing. The official get no petrol no because Nancy Mot. Nancy Mot, don't that say driver you are not. They be like, okay, as a matter of fact, you go home. Yeah, I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. So she comes through and she has like buckets and like all the different ingredients that you need to make umkomboti. And um, they go into Annie's house and then like Kung is like, oh, what a nice house or whatever. And then in the confessional, she's like, I mean, it's nice for her. It's style sack. I'm oh, like, girl, just, that house is nice for anyone. I'm, I was that part just had me. I'm like. That's a and just it. Beautiful home. Annie's home is beautiful. You cannot take that even if you don't like Annie. Hi. Annie's Hi. house is beautiful. Hi. No. And I was saying this to Uzus when we were watching the episode. I said, it's so funny because the house that La Congo showed us in the first few episodes yeah. had a very similar style. Yeah, like a modern, like modern yeah. decorative style. Yeah, So, so when what she do you goes mean? on and says it's beautiful for, for her. her. What? Your truth? house looks the same. Your house looks the same. What do you mean? What is the truth? It doesn't even look the same, it's, but it's similar. Uh, well, it's a similar modern style. Yeah. So if you are going to point out the ink for you, for example. For example. For example. 
No shade to you, come guys. Zonga in come up, in God's eyes. Anyway, so they go in and then you can see it's very awkward. It is it very was awkward. It's so but I, awkward. But I and Annie is also confused. Yeah. But baby, what are we doing here? Like, what is this? Of which can I'm I will like Congo because I do believe that in when it comes to the traditional aspect of their culture, she's very serious about it. So yeah. I want to say that she came in she genuinely. She genuinely wanted to teach her. But um, it was um, odd. But now Ufigele. To someone who already doesn't like her that much, there's already also, a bit of tension. They, yeah. they don't click. They don't. You wouldn't find Annie calling Ula Kongo to hang out on yeah. a random day. So it just the coming together of the both of them was very odd. But I feel like the sincerity of Ula Kongo was there. But I really genuinely just want to teach you more things about the yeah. Zulu culture. But it's just now you're teaching someone who really is not about you. Yeah. So who tends? I mean, because no, I have a good tens. Who manages who's Why? Why are you here? Yeah. Like, what is this? She had voices in her head. Why? 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 <laughs> why like God, why so they mix in the thing and they're doing the things and whatever but now they move on to um Ula Kongo actually confronting or asking with Annie about the fact that they don't believe that petal is real petal is not real honey so Ula Kongo asks her but oh so apparently um a word on the street is that you guys don't believe you and Jojo don't believe that, that petal, petal is, a- is real and then and is like trying to laugh it off, but basically like saying, yeah, like I mean, eh, we never get any straight answers from you. We like, don't we, see him. Yeah, we we don't know what's going on. We don't know what's on. going on. And then with Tula Kongo, I, I feel like she like she addressed it, but she didn't fully address it. Like yes. she wasn't looking for like concrete answers, and and it didn't give her like like solid answers. And they were just like brushing it off. But I just wanna, I wanna, I want you to know that I know, I know. that you guys this is what you about said. Me. Mm. Basically, I, f- mm. I feel like that was that type of vibe. And then she goes on to invite her to... Um, it's the, Teresa Ito. It's Teresa Ito. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're going to talk to one of my people. She's so serious about it. She's, like, isn't she? She's a, she's a binga. That's what, I, I think that's what they call it. Eh, that's what they call eh, those eh, people that are like... Lipping, I have a guide. Yay! As he has given us my Indonesia. As he has, but gay. You guys land, 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 land. So, and he's like, oh, of course, because she's now, she has a teenage daughter with a Zulu man. A Zulu man. So, and he accepted the invitation, and she's going to go to La Kongo's event. And they finish making them kumboti, and they go put it outside. and For it to ferment. Yeah, for the fermentation. And then La Kongo is like, if it spills, then you know it's going to be extra strong, honey. Like, it's going to be delicious. And they keep caring about that. Fake as hell. It was so awkward. Yeah, it was really amazing. Yeah, there's there's no way around that situation but to be fake. Please. And okay, we move on to scene five. I think this is scene five. We have Jojo and Nongu. Firstly, we have Jojo and at the tattoo she parlor. is at the parlor getting a tattoo and she was hoping that Nongu would join her. But Nongu had declined the invitation. But now she's coming around. She's like, I, I'm close by. Maybe I can come and um, actually meet up with you and yeah. see what you got to say, honey. Because the last time I met with you, the you were all up in my face. We're telling fighting. me I'm a drunk. Right? So anyway, Unoku pulls through and Ujojo is basically apologizing for how everything happened at Joe Chela and how it ended with her fighting yeah. with Nongu's friend yeah. and then she obviously explains that you know I wanted to talk to you as my friend to make sure that you're okay but your friend was in my face so it just it didn't end well. Yeah. But okay, anyway, on that topic <laughs> we've had a change of heart. So I think this is now where she shares how she really feels about the situation yeah. and about how the women have been treating Unungu yeah. and going around talking about how she's an al- well not an alcoholic but how excessively she drinks yeah. and that's not what she shares anymore. She has since realized that, that, she, doesn't drink that she doesn't drink that much. <laughs> okay, no okay, problem. <laughs> Okay, okay, sorry, okay, 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 no. sorry. okay, okay, sorry, 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 and yeah, also she, the ladies also want to apologize, yeah, and she got a bit emotional, and she started crying, yeah, and obviously, no, 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 is getting oh, emotional, and her tears, honestly, <sighs> Pull it why are you together. crying, why are you crying, why are you crying, because you were the one that initiated this whole thing, this whole meeting was held at your house, when Nongu was, you gave us a venue for exactly, the intervention, exactly, and then on top of that, I feel like it was very emotive. Like, what changed? What was the trigger that changed her opinion about Nongu? I definitely believe Banamna, it had something to do with her fighting with Ulondi. 
I definitely believe that but because okay. her sentiments changed whenever she fought with Ulondi. And then she's like, okay, okay, I've changed my mind. You know what? I, I want Actually, to, I want us to say sorry. And also, I felt like she didn't get the support from Usurisha, like because Usurisha was not about that. Wow bombarding her like that mm. because the way they, like they were ambushing her she and Nandi were ambushing Nungpu and like when they were trying to have this intervention even though there was validity in it like yeah, it was true that yeah. she had an concerned. issue mm. right but the way they did it like they went about it the wrong way and you know other people were like what like and this is why I'm upset with Jojo because it's very easy to say to someone the approach that we came with was all oh, the style that we yeah like, we decided to go about it the wrong way that but that was the wrong part not we that should not have, our, our yeah that we should not have confronted you in front of everyone you should not have argued in front of production and other friends and like it shouldn't have been as but they didn't do it in front of everyone they it was literally londi and jojo and nongu they called yeah. her to the side the first time but i also think the yeah. pers- the persistent talking about it yeah. and them riling unongu up because unongu each time she gets into the setting with the rest of the ladies she they brings this up as well yeah. but i've heard you guys are saying yeah. and then the ladies continue but yeah Vela, that's what we said yeah so i think the we approach she could have just said i'm we apologize or i personally apologize, apologize for, for the approach. approach but the message and the content I'm it's not still the same for. moving on to scene six and this is where ulondi um, oh, goes to Annie's, goes house. To Annie's yeah. house. Obviously, when she walks in, I just bring a baguette. Baguette! 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 So she's curious. Well, and then, baguette? Baguette, Yona? Baguette, Yona? Contle. And then, yeah, obviously, Annie now has to tell her that, yeah, well, let's see, was here and yeah. she was teaching me how to make mkombodi. So, weird. Yeah, weird. But, but, that, I mean, weird, but anyway, yeah. we move. I think the most important part here was um, Londi telling Annie that she told Lassie about the fact that Londi and yes, Jojo so don't think Petal is real. Yes, so Anne confronts Ulondi, but when Londi, we are on the we're chilling now. here as girls having a conversation about Petal, and we tell you that we don't think he's real, and you take those opinions to, back to the owner. To the owner of the numbers. So Ulondi was just like, yeah, really. It wasn't a secret. Like, you guys yeah. didn't tell me this in... Like, in confidence. It, it wasn't in confidence. Yeah. You guys have been saying on more than one occasion that you don't think Pitty exactly. is real. So I was just letting her know that your friends don't trust don't, you. Yeah, well, your... Friends. The people that you hang out with. The other ladies. I'm a lady. I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to scene seven. Mm-hmm. Now we're at the actual event. Is Tebe saying, It's our favorite song. We are bored. But they're at wherever they are. Makaya. And it's this event yeah. in Tebese in Dombi. The first person to arrive is Ulondi. Obviously, yeah. she's you know greeted by these beautiful women. They usher her into the hut and she's alone. Yeah, she's like, where are the other ladies? Where's the host? How about my and ladies? She, yeah, my ladies. <laughs> and she calls like Conco, and then like, Conco is still getting ready. Um, but she's like, I'm coming through. So anyway, after Londi arrives, then the rest of the ladies um, start pulling through, and we have Annie. Uh, Sarisha, Sarisha and, and Jojo, Jojo coming through in a car and Ibo. Ibo. Oh gunmen Oh gunmen Ibo. 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 I'm like what is this Oh Jojo brought security because she's wearing a diamond ring and she has a Rolex I'm like it's giving very much you, Like Oh 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 deaf Oh Jojo And oh no microaggressions And there was no need for her She has a lot of microaggressions that I was just like you're giving very much racist vibes. I mean, it's not quite yet there, but like, it smells very racist. Whatever is going on here, in, in a, a root, tinge. In a root. I know why you're trying to do but in a root. Why a are you bringing security guards because you're coming to the lollies? You've been wearing your Rolex and your things going anywhere. And also just, just, I don't want to say read the room, but like just. Yeah. Why? Just don't don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, just don't do that. Don't don't, don't do, that. do that. There's no need. Because just, no, especially just don't as wear a white Rolex, woman, then don't wear that your Rolex. You shouldn't thing. have to wear her Rolex. You don't have to wear that. Please, George, please. There's no need for you to do that. Just don't. I think also.
also she's trying to flex in a way and it's it's, just, it's not giving I don't know what you think it's giving, but it's not giving that. It wasn't, it wasn't giving. It was not giving that we at all. We are here to tell you that it was not giving. It's security guards with guns. Yeah, it was a bit extra. It was extra. It was just a very... It was not a cute extra. So yeah. Work I think she was, try, she was trying to do something like a... Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big girl. Yeah, I'm a baller. I'm a, I'm a balls. Mm. Like she was trying to pull a solution move. I get you. The but private jet move. It, yeah, but that's what she was trying to just, pull. But it didn't land, that's it. It, it. it landed flat on its face instead. So sorry about that, Queen. We moved on from that. Bafi Kege Fine. Um, Ula Kondo then shortly arrives yeah. after that. Ula Kondo Ngobe, a beautiful. A beautiful. <laughs> a beautiful. A beautiful gown. Um, no makeup. Yeah, and Annie was confused about that, but she's wearing like such an elegant dress, but she's not like all the way. It looks together. very wedding dressy. Yeah. But I but mean, that's just... what she decided to wear. That's yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't. Wear. Yeah. I wasn't mad at the outfit. Yeah, I wasn't even mad at the fact that she didn't have makeup. Like, yeah. You know when you have those days where it's hot, you're busy, exactly. you will up and down, your face exactly. starts melting, you just don't feel your best. And yeah. at that time, Evisu got by the river. So yeah. I think they quickly came back and she had to change into, obviously, her elegant dress. But it just, there was no time for her to do a face. Yeah. She's not like the other girls who will have glam for everything. Yeah. Ah, but they go to bed and they glam it's when. <laughs> so like, it wasn't that dramatic. But obviously, Annie had to be a bit shady because that's just who she is. Yeah, and also Nongu when, because um, like Nongu went on and changed after and she was wearing this um, pink dress or like, Sort of dress or whatever, <laughs> and then she had like a thingy on the side. I don't know what you call that thing, like a scarf. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Oh my God. Me squash. Exactly. Oh my God. Me squash. 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 Oh my God. You know those Basically. aunts who always have like a pocket knife or a peeler in their yes, pocket. Yes. Exactly. Apron. Yeah. If you need anything, Ula was that pocket. aunt. Once she changed, and she became that exactly. Aunt. But I, I completely understand because it was her event, yeah, and I think she's hands on. Um, which is really, really good because Ula Kongo is like yes, that type yes. of girl. So I, I don't feel any type of way about it. But then Nongu goes on and she says like, Ula Kongo, oh my God, aren't you embarrassed or whatever? No. Like, um, com um, beauty or like style before comfort, like whatever. I'm like, girl. Basically, you must now. always look your best. Yeah. I would never be caught slipping looking yeah, at that. Yeah, 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 basically. Yeah, that it had that kind of noise. But it says Lalini, guys. And Nusem Kundin, like... And if, you you and if you come from Isla Lini, you, yeah. know, you will know that even if you plan to have like a photo op, I think Ula Tunga had planned to have like a photo moment or she had yeah. planned to have a moment, which is why she had that dress made. But it didn't but pan it, out. Like it didn't pan out and it's not practical because you yeah. can do up and down. You can't be walking up and down with a train. Exactly. So that's why she it's changed. Just, it wasn't practical. But yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the event the, was a success. The event was a success. Yeah. It wasn't... I think they were dancing and stuff, and it, it was very, very cute. Oh, I saw a clip circulating on Twitter, Gamakumalo dancing and doing the most, which I thought was really cute, but like they never showed that side oh, of yes. her. Oh, yes. Oh, no, Makumalo arrived. Yes. Looked all so glamorous, jolly. I, I was not a fan of that dress. And, uh, I actually liked that dress. I was so confused, child. For that particular event, I actually liked that dress. It just. In a, in, a, in a stop nonsense, basically. Yeah, like, you can get. Don't, don't, no, you're gonna ruin the, the gonna, ruffles. Don't, don't, fist pump. I just, yeah. It, but I, I, feel like, I think she looked cute. Yeah, sometimes, I, I, I mean, Makumalo's fashion is so dramatic, and sometimes it feels out of place when she's just like sitting, because in Ati, it's like, it, it, it would be nice for Instagram, but not like I for agree. real life. Really like if she were to take a picture with that with that um with that dress, like it would Bomb. look amazing. But now you're sitting and this thing is like it looks awkward. Like it, it it's not doing what the dress is supposed to do, right? Because you actually do it like living life. So like I I don't know I don't know how I felt about that dress, but I think if she would have taken a picture with it, it would look nice for Instagram just yeah. for a picture type of thing. And then oh obviously. then there were balloons. Before the balloons, oh. Uno and Ku had came with Umama Ike, Ukri. Oh, yeah. And then they went outside to go have a chat about what the ladies have been saying about Nongu. Which for me... Yeah. For one one, basically. Yeah. So, basically, she's telling her mom about what the ladies think about her and her drinking patterns and the fact that they ambushed her and they were so rude and they had, like, all of these things to say about her. And the mom... I thought the mom was going to be like... You know what I call him the name, but like I, I like you. We need to address the issue. Mm. She was just like, oh, okay, whatever. Like let them be, type of thing. Eh, wait, wait, too. Ukwinu has the element, okay. But Ukwinu was the first one that said Bananongo has a drinking problem. 
I so think, why is she not? I don't get it. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how she wanted to address it. I feel like uh, Queen sometimes. It's also this thing of ufostela uteta islungu, where if your vocabulary runs short. Yeah. Because I feel like there was another. There was something that Queen wanted to express to Unongu, but because uh, yeah, she's sister yeah. on speaking English, there's only so much she can she say. can say and convey. Like I, I I don't know if you get me. I get what you're saying. But in a say. Because there was a part where it confused us. Yeah. Where we, we didn't know whether she was talking about herself or she was talking about Unongu. Yeah. But it went on with, like, between them two, Umdo, who had a drinking problem. Yeah. And sometimes they would drive, being drunk, but not like out. But you know, you wake up the next day and you're like, oh my goodness, I'm home. Thank God. How did I even get here? But we didn't know if she was talking about herself or if she was talking about Unongu. But because Ekumsha, no Ekumsha. We we can't get the gist of it because it's just a very confusing conversation. Yeah, there are balloons that come through pink balloons. The ladies are like, "What's going on? What's not joking? It could be petal." Yeah, it could be petal. And then the like, "Ang yasin pela yele." I'm like, "Oh, so did you know the other one?" Oh, <laughs> oh, last I see you. And then um, so they pop the balloons, and Annie has um, planned a trip for the ladies to Sun Sun City. And they're all excited, and Latonga is like, "Oh, I thought maybe we're going to New York or something." I'm like, yeah, I don't like that attitude from Mula Congo. Like, it's I'm a one girl. thing. It's one thing to not go to a place where you've always wanted to go, ne? But it's another when you're gonna be visibly disappointed that someone is taking you somewhere, somewhere else. Like, oh, we're going to Harta BS. I'd be happy. Like, I'm exactly. Like, oh, yeah, just because, please. I'm not I'm just but I'm not, but. so I'm just like for someone who's not gonna be paying for this trip, why are you so disappointed? I thought we were going to New York. What? I know what who? Stop. Who would take it to New York? And they've been also, to Cape Town. Exactly. First season they went to Cape Town. So we wouldn't do Cape Town again. Again. You come to They Joburg, are in, in Durban. They live in Durban. You <laughs> Stop. Okay, now the event is over, but Mabusi comes a bit late. And then they oh, bring yes. her um that we're going on a trip. When did she come? She came in right even after they announced oh, the trip. Oh yes, after Annie and um, Sarisha left. left. Yes, I remember, yes, I remember, yes. I remember. So now everyone's inquiring, well, and being curious. Is she, but, is she oh, invited? Are you gonna be invited? Because mm-hmm. she's not on the WhatsApp group. Oh. And yeah, I'm here to help us. La WhatsApp group. Yeah, diga we any manga from nimda na WhatsApp group. Because I'm sure Ula see we are briefer. Yeah, Mabusi, but the group came. Happening. This is what happened. So she's like, hey, but why won't she put me in the group in the first place? I've been asking her for months. For months. And she's been saying, I've been asking her for three months to put me in the group, and she's not gonna put me in. So okay, it's Annie, whatever. Stop it. Put my like, put Mabusi on the group. Put, put her in the group. Put her in the group. True. And yeah, and that's how it ends. So it yeah, ends with everyone being curious as to whether Umabusi is, is going invited to be or there, not. But the but the sentiments of the group is that they actually are excited to go on the trip. Mm-hmm. They're going to Sun City, honey. Mm-hmm.